Hello guys, welcome to Knowledge Zone. It's your the Indian coding boy. If you are new to this channel, Knowledge Zone is a channel to spread knowledge on different domains. We have different sort of playlist of different domains. Make sure you check out this playlist. This playlist of the Indian coding boy totally deals about coding and uh, stuffs related to technology etc. So in today's video, we will be seeing about how to send a message to Instagram using Python. You may be thinking, oh, it's like a old stuff. No, no, it's like we are going to implement desktop automation in this. So the process is so simple. This video is going to be less than 10 minutes actually. And uh, we are going to write less than 15 lines of code. Without talking further, let's dive into today's video. So for using desktop automation i have chosen the library of pi auto gui so let me show you that so pi auto gui so we can automate the graphical user interface things with this pi auto gui library for example you are whatever you are doing in your computer or laptop is based upon said mouse clicks or uh, the inputs given by the keyboard so we are going to automate this task so this is the official page for PyAuto GUI you can install it by going to command prompt and giving the command of pip install PyAuto GUI so you may get some uh, sample codes here for example this PyAuto GUI dot write send uh, is going to press certain keys for example H-E-L-L-O-W-O-R-L-D it will press these keys in this sequence and we have given another one parameter called interval so that after h there will be a 0.25 seconds of interval so we have a controls for pressing the hotkeys like control and alt so key down in the sense it is going to hold this shift key for a long time so let me demonstrate with some examples so what we'll be doing is like uh, we'll open an, the instagram and uh, okay i am just i think i've already logged in so we will uh, message to one of our friends for example here is our sanish okay let's message him through our python code so let's dive into coding i am here using the visual studio code editor so let me import the necessary packages import uh, time so next we want date and time right so this date and time library has at what but it will return on what it is it has a method which will return what particular time what is the current time so it has the method for that so from date and time package i'm going to import the date and time class next i'm going to import pi or to gui fine so now we want to get this message right so we'll get the message through the input message input method Port. so enter your message fine next we will want to get the time so at what particular time the message should be sent so in the time in the sense it is going to be I mean like check it well we will enter this at the runtime fine now we are getting the what is the message we are going to send and what particular time we are want to send that message so i am declaring an infinite while loop you will understand that in a minute so you want to check whether i mean for every now and then you want to check the time right so for that i am using this in a while loop so i am getting the current date and time using the now function so it is going to be present equal to date time dot now so this will return the date time for example if, you, for if it is a thursday it is going to return like a thursday like that so that i want to format that so i am using the strf string format function present dot strf time so it will format the time in a particular format of hours and minutes so star ish in uh, percentage m for minute fine let me store this again in the present variable fine guys now we want to check if this present time is equal to the time which we have got from the console 
so if present is equal to our time then our python script sorry i have forgot the code so our python script will go to press certain keys so that i am using the py auto gui class so py auto gui dot write is the function to send our message for example this is our msg message so i am going to give the interval like uh, every character will have a 0.25 second interval next my code will uh, sleep for uh, say like uh, the process will uh, get to an halt state for 2 seconds so in order to send that message i should press the enter key right so pi auto gui dot press enter so once this is done we should break from this loop so let me sleep for uh, let the code sleep for another two seconds and let me break this loop fine our code seems to fine next let's compile and see what we are going to get so i'm just clearing my terminal console let's see so the time is 0046 let send some good night message to our sanish so the time is 0047 let me say i mean it is my system time is set to 24 hours time so it will work in a 24 hours time you can change this to your current oldest time also so 048 fine right so after this you want to shift your control to the chat where you want to send the message so this sort of technique i will say where it will be useful in a real time scenario for example if you want to message a birthday wish to your friend at 12 o'clock so in those times in those type of scenario you can write this type of script to execute exactly at 12 i mean it will send a message exactly at 12 so you may be worried like after that your system should shut down right so see our code is complaining here good night sanish 2 seconds delay yeah our message is sent so in order if you want your system to get shut down you may write this piece of code so os dot system shut down no slash s slash t one so before that you want to import this os so if you you are doing this your system will shut down after this command gets executed i mean like after this piece of code gets executed it will break out of this loop and uh, your system gets shut off that's it guys hope you like this video share your uh, views in the comment section follow us on facebook and instagram so make a comment on what sort of topic we should discuss further support our video watch out our uh, different playlist if you want to see this content in tamil i will leave a link in the description below and uh, i will leave link on the previous video which i made on how to send uh, and whatsapp message using python which is based upon the browser automation and web scraping make sure to check out that keep supporting code us bye bye